Hi, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see why is your person not communicating? What does the silence mean? Um, what's the reason behind it? It's going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. All major arcana cards so far, and that's big. Okay, to me it feels like what's happening right now in your relationship is big it's huge and i feel like it's going to be um, a, a turning point um, it's either going to make or it's either going to break this connection okay this is where things will begin all over again for some of you okay a fresh emotional start a more positive start um, or this is an ending okay this is where the two of you part and you go separate ways so you know people are either a lesson or a blessing for some of you blessing for others of you lesson huge lesson so I feel like it, it's big it's very big because what happens next is going to determine the direction the relationship heads in okay whether it has a new direction or whether ultimately it's hit a dead end um, a lot of resistance right now. It feels like there's a lot of resistance. Your person has, your person has to make a decision, um, but they're not ready. Um, they are not ready to make this decision. They are not ready, and I feel like it's what's keeping them is what's keeping them from making a decision is the cycle of fear, or anxiety that they're living in. Okay. Um, I feel like there's a stagnated energy and I feel like your person is resisting change. So maybe, you know, they may have commitment issues. They may have emotional intimacy issues. They may not want to move the relationship forward. To me, I feel like death in reverse. I'm interpreting that as a stagnation, as this inability to move, to change, to commit. But ultimately, I feel like it's driven by an energy of fear, by an energy of anxiety, by also an energy of insecurity. Um, I feel like I'm seeing them repeat negative patterns, okay? And I feel like, I don't know if they've done this with you before or if they've done this with other romantic partners, but I feel like they're resisting change. And, you know, there's, it, it's their, it's ultimately their emotional behavioral patterns that, or perhaps even the, yours, the both of yours, are creating the sense of stagnancy, okay? And there's, you know, death in reverse is the decay. If something is not growing, um, sadly, it's dying. And it feels like this relationship, you know, it needs death signals that a new start needs to be injected. So, you know, you need to turn. I feel like there's a major phase in the connection that's ending or needs to end. And sometimes you need to close one door so that a new door can swing right open. And right now, the past needs to be put behind you. Okay, so whatever has happened here and hasn't worked out, whatever unforgiveness um, is still lingering, it feels like, you know. Your, this relationship is going through a major change and a major transformation and a major transition and it can be a scary time okay especially for the both of you but someone here I feel like is refusing to welcome the change someone here is scared because it's they're stepping out of their comfort zone they haven't done this before I feel like it's it's absolutely important as I've mentioned what happens next is absolutely important but I do feel like your person is resisting change I do feel like your person is scared um, they're holding on to the past, which is then preventing them from moving forward with you. Um, and it's just, the, it's this fear of unknown. I don't think, you know, you can still be afraid and take action. That's what bravery encourages, right? You can still be scared. You can still have fear and take the right steps and move forward. Um, but I feel like the more that they resist, the more regrets that they're going to have. Because... 
feel like they're, le they're worried that moving forward with you means letting go of their past. And they're not ready to do that. And I feel like they're scared. And that's why they're resisting the change. Because this is why you feel like in limbo. Or perhaps they feel like they're in limbo as well. Because they're holding on to... Or maybe it's you, you know, someone here is holding on to something that I feel like has been stagnant and is not growing and hasn't been growing for some time. Is it an emotional or behavioral pattern? Possibly. Is it the relationship or the connection? Possibly. Okay, so maybe the relationship has ended or maybe this is, you know, the relationship is ending and maybe there's absolutely no way you've tried and you've done all you could do, then there's no way to revive the connection. I feel like what's happening is big and it's so important that you look at the situation, really look at it and see it for what it is, not for what you want to see because there are two different pictures, right? What it, What is and what you want it to be. So I feel like, you know, there's a lot that's depending on whether this relationship survives or not. And I think you can only remain together if the both of you are willing to compromise and the both of you are willing to commit and, you know, cooperate if the both of you are willing to do that. Um, there's patterns and then dynamics that I feel like are truly hurting the relationship here. And I feel like, you know, uh, it could be like self-esteem issues. It could be complexities or wounds that need to be healed so that the, your partner or perhaps even yourself can love and respect you or can be loved and respected in return. Why are they communicate why aren't they communicating this? I feel like your person has a hard time processing their emotions. I also feel like they're a bit confused and ultimately if they have to communicate to you, you know, if they really have to open up and be honest and be transparent with what's happening here, that means that they would have to confront something that they initially have been trying to avoid for quite some time. And I can see that your person high priestess energy is emotionally reserved. They are unguarded. They are someone who you know, likes to um, hold back. There's someone who's really withdrawn. There's someone who's got their walls and their guard up really high. And I feel like they're also scared. I feel like they're scared of opening up because they're scared of being judged. Okay, they're scared that you might look at them in a different way. I just feel like there's something here that you don't know about your person. And it might stem from their emotional environment that you, uh, that they were brought up in. Um, or it may have something to do with their feelings that they have for you, okay? I just feel like there's this sense of fear that's keeping them from moving forward with you. It's emotional intimacy. It's a fear of emotional intimacy, fear of commitment, a fear of abandonment. It's a fear of change because that can be very scary for some people. And your person, I feel like, has been... To me, it feels like your person or this relationship has been stuck for quite some time. And here's where it gets very interesting because as uncomfortable as this stalemate and this stagnancy is, at the same time, someone has grew so accustomed to it that that's all they know or that's something that they've known for far too long and it's become far too familiar and comfortable in a way. So your person is resisting change because ultimately they're scared of what comes next. Okay, And what comes next could be the best thing ever. But they don't know that. They don't see it that way, you know. Um, or it might not. But it's just this fear of stepping outside of their comfort zone. It's this fear of being hurt, being rejected or abandoned. It's this fear of having to confront their emotions, having to confront the past. Um, and they're not ready to do that, okay. They're not ready to let go. They're not ready to let go of the past because they identify with their past so much. They might also be not ready to let go of a past lover or a past relationship because if they close the door on that, that would mean that they then allow and give themselves, you know, permission to open the door on this connection. Your person is thinking about a lot of things. I just feel like I see their head like being, they're very dizzy here. So I don't know if they suffer from a lot of headaches or migraines or I don't know if they've got like vertigo issues but I see them being very dizzy possibly even like a lot of thoughts so they're going round and around in circles uh, thinking about things um, I also want to draw your attention to the moon here that lies the crescent moon that lies at the high priestess feet and the sun that's popped up twice here in your reading it feels like this relationship has stages of growth and decline okay so there are, you know, sometimes you take a step forward with this person, but so, and then you end up taking two steps back. 
this is happening because this is ultimately you know a manifestation and a projection of their insecurities and their fears and their anxieties and as i've mentioned right now it's really big because if you do come back together the only way the relationship is going to work if they're willing to confront what's holding them back which is something to do with the past here something to do with their insecurities the anxieties which ultimately does stem from the past okay so past emotional bringing past relationship um past emotional experience whatever it is something from the past though and they're not willing to let it go you can get back together okay but if you come back together in the same energy the relationship isn't going to go get very far it's not so this is why it's so big because ultimately you are at a crossroads okay it this is now you know a fight or flight sink or swim kind of situation um this determines make or break it determines whether the relationship ends or whether it begins again in on a more positive note so and here's the thing you can't make the decision isn't yours entirely it's not you know what i mean um because it takes two people ultimately there are two energies involved here so it takes you know two people to make this decision and the both of you will have to come together and cooperate compromise and sacrifice you know you can do your part but they need to do their bit as well and you can't do that for them Okay guys and these are your messages thank you for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to this channel bye